My next guest is a comedian whom we've featured a number of times over the years. Today is releasing his debut comedy album, 100% Half-Assed, from our very own Team Coco Records. For more information and to download it, go to teamcocorecords.com. Please welcome back to the show the very funny Ian Edwards. <laughs> How's everybody feeling? Good, I like that. Uh, you look like an honest crowd, so I just want to take a quick survey. Uh, say you're walking down the street late at night, and you see two black dudes in hoodies <laughs> coming your way. How many people here, honestly, would cross over to the other side of the street? <laughs> so one person in the top, and me, that's it. <laughs> the rest of y'all just being straight dishonest, huh? Uh, let me tell you why I'd cross street. I'd cross street because the news tells me every night that black dudes in hoodies are dangerous. There is a black dude in a hoodie story on the news every night, no matter what's going on in the world. And back from Afghanistan to these black dudes in hoodies. <laughs> oh, I wish I was safely in war-torn Afghanistan. <laughs> away from these black dudes in hoodies. <laughs> like, the news make it so bad, I seen a black dude in a hoodie cross the street when he's seen another black dude in a hoodie. <laughs> hey man, I don't want no problems, player. I don't want none either, bruh. Grandma, is that you? Because <laughs> the news tell us what to think about all the different races. They set the stereotypes every night, but what the news doesn't tell us is that men in suits are the biggest robbers and the biggest criminals. Yeah. Hands down. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bernie Madoff was one dude in a suit. He stole more money than every black dude in the history of hoodies <laughs> combined, you know what I'm saying? He stole $65 billion. Black dudes in hoodies ain't mugged a million yet. <laughs> like, one dude in a suit outstole an entire race. <laughs> like, next time you're walking down the street and you see a man in a suit, cross over and warn the black dude in a hoodie. <laughs> He's in danger, save his life, <laughs> do something. <laughs> and that's why I'm glad Obama's president, because finally black people have a good representative, you know what I'm saying? Before we had some bad black representatives, uh, we had Al Sharpton. Uh, Al Sharpton is not a good look for black people. <laughs> no, he'll come on the news, wah, 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 wah. and people are like, hey man, there goes your leader. I'm like, I didn't nominate this dude my leader. <laughs> You know what it feels like to have Al Sharpton as your leader? Uh, white people, imagine if Hulk Hogan was your racial leader. <laughs> Every time something goes down, he comes on the news. Ah! You know me and Gene, we're gonna shut this racism down. <laughs> like, why is our leader ripping off his shirt? And kissing his muscles. Before that, we had Jesse Jackson. Uh, a lot of people think Jesse Jackson is a good leader, uh, but Jesse Jackson is not a good leader. This is how you know Jesse Jackson is not a good leader, because uh, nobody ever tried to kill him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is disrespectful to have a black leader that nobody wants to kill, you know? how you know Jesse Jackson was really not a good leader. The person who shot Martin Luther King had a clear shot at Jesse Jackson too. <laughs> and that dude just packed up his rifle <laughs> and went home, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna do more damage alive. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. Now I was watching the news, I uh, saw the story about this guy, he did 30 years in jail for something he didn't do, and they finally found out and let him out. And I was happy for him, uh, but let me tell you something. Uh, if I do 30 years in jail for something I didn't do, when I get out, I'm gonna do something. <laughs> uh, that's 30 years credit, you know? <laughs> I've already done the time, now it's time to do the crime. <laughs> 
feel me? I got a prepaid crime credit card. I'm just gonna commit crimes and swipe. Doop! Uh, yes, officer, excuse me, talk to me. Get the hell out of my face, officer. I'll be back in court the next day. The judge will be looking at me like, Mr. Edwards, it says here, uh, we let you out yesterday and you just robbed the gas station with an ice pick. I'm like, that's right, sir. That's a year. Take it off my card and hurry up. I got a lot more stuff I got to do. I got banks to rob and drugs to sell. As a matter of fact, I don't like the way you're looking at me, judge. Get the hell out of here. It's five years. Take it off my card. And don't let me use the rest of it up in this court. All right, that's my time. My name is Ian Edwards. Peace, y'all.